So today, first of March and St. David's Day, it's a new moon tomorrow. It's a good time to really get connected with what we really want, our deepest desires, our needs, and how we, and, and, and reconnect with those intentions we may have made earlier on this year. Um, and this goes really well with that, actually, this card that uh, has popped up today, kind of surprised me. I don't know why it surprised me. I haven't seen it for a while, probably. It's a beautiful one. Stay focused. Yeah. Kuthumi. Kuthumi. Yeah, that's right. Lovely. I love this very gentle kind of face and this idea of you know, staying focused, holding your, staying in your lane, holding your kind of path and um, not getting diverted by, by things that are taking you away from your, from, from the things that you, that you uh, love to do, the things that you are kind of, your personal projects, your intentions, it's easy to get distracted. So it's a little reminder for that. Um, and also in the chaotic times, just to keeping that sense of connection to yourself. Um, and so you can have, we can have this better perspective of the bigger picture. Sometimes I hear myself saying in these difficult times, um, it's, you know, it's easy to get, it's, it's, uh, it's always difficult times. Times are always difficult, always have been, always will be. It's almost, there's always something difficult happening somewhere in the world, just a bit more intense. And it is, of course, Shivaratri tomorrow. The big Shiva festival. Oh, that's worth ringing the bell for. Wonderful. Yeah. We begin. I'm going to lie down today. I'm going to lie down on the ground. Land. Arrive. Feel our body on the ground. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let your hands rest wherever they want to. I actually wanted to just kind of rest my hands on my body. So I'm going to let myself do that. If you want to just go into full Shavasana, just come into that position. And just take a moment to close your eyes, feel your back on the ground. Feel the air, the temperature of the air on your body. Feel the air coming in through your nostrils, filling the body with air. You can maybe if your hands are on your body, maybe you'll feel that space you're creating with your breath. All about the breath. Feel your energy. What's going on with you today? And accepting how we are today. You know, we're feeling anxious, accepting, allowing, giving ourselves some space around those feelings. If we're feeling tired and frazzled, let ourselves feel those fried, frazzled feelings and just hold that. So holding ourselves, almost being at our own back. So we can feel our back is supported here, but we feel our sense of ourself. Strong back. Soft front, wild heart. There we go. That's a nice one for us today. And just closing your eyes if they're not closed already. Let's just chant the mantra on one time. So we're only doing it once. So make it really loud. Open your mouth wide. Let your sound out. Feel the vibration of that sound. It doesn't matter if it's high or low. The sound is whatever sound comes naturally to you. Let it out. Breathing in. Ah. impact of that vibration just like a cleanse just opening just kind of tends to help open us up so we hug the knees now have a little rock gentle rock side to side and just feeling your back see how it feels rolling around and enjoying that feeling okay Extend the heels to the ceiling, extend the hands up to the ceiling. So the legs aren't leaning together, they're separate. Pushing the heels up, drawing the toes towards you. So you really get a nice bit of extension on the backs of the legs. Let's just flex those wrists and ankles. So we see, make the full range of movement back and forth. So seeing how far the wrists will go. Wrists are gonna go a bit further, most likely. Ankles a bit less. And then we rotate 
rotate the wrists and ankles all at the same time. And then we rotate the other way, all at the same time. And then hug the knees again. Give them a little squeeze. Let's draw a circle on the ground, opening everything up. Breathing in, take the knees away. Breathing out, draw the knees in. Using the nostrils to breathe in and out of. And just enjoying this connection of your breath, with your body, with your energy. Yeah. And we we'll go the other way. Are you sitting a lot today? Maybe you're going to feel a bit of ease coming in. Have you been very active? Maybe you feel like, oh, I just need to have a little lie down on the ground. And that's what we're doing. It's great. And then we're going to just open up the hips. So again, circles, lots of circles, circle energy. So the knees are into your body, knees are uh, close together. Inhaling, take the knees away. Exhaling, let the knees fall away from each other and come back to the body. So we're drawing two separate circles with the knees. Let the feet fall away from each other, let the knees fall away from each other and draw the knees back to the body. So this is in time with the breath, inhaling and exhaling, knees fall apart, come back to the body. Inhale and exhale. So you're making space for the body as you inhale, you make space. And as you exhale, we're squeezing the breath out. Let's do a couple more. Inhaling, just seeing how it feels, how it impacts on the hip joint. Maybe your hips are feeling a bit achy today. Just allowing that space. And then we go the other way, bring the knees together still, but they're away from your body. Inhale, exhaling, draw the knees in. Inhale, take the knees away. And we're just again drawing two separate circles, easing out the back of the pelvis, the hips, a little bit into the back, and also just calming down the system by focusing on our breath, moving the body in time with the breath, inhaling, exhale, squeeze the breath out, spacious, inhale, exhale, squeeze the breath out. Okay. So we have the feet on the floor now, and I have them close to the buttocks, I'm going to do a little moving bridge, so get the feet really close up as you can, and there's space between the feet, hips width apart, and they're parallel. We want to try and keep that distance between the knees even, okay? Palms flat down to the ground, so just stretching the fingers down towards the bottom of the mat, tuck the chin in. So it's really trying to get the chin to touch the chest, but constantly keeping that, that position. So you want to expose the back of the neck um, on the ground. So starting with that, drawing up the pelvic floor, breathing in, lifting up, breathing out, rolling down. So we're rolling from the top down through vertebrae into the base of the spine which is the ground and we roll up breathing in we're opening the front of the body the front of the hips there the hip flexors exhaling rolling down just noticing the position of the knees they probably maybe they want to splay out maybe they want to come together but try and keep that even spacing you have to use the thighs a bit so almost a squeeze almost a slight squeezing if you want to we can do this extended version breathing in lift the arms up breathing out rolling the spine down still and trying to make that lower back or the base of the spine just reach the ground as the hands reach the ground so we're trying to coordinate this movement breathing in lifting and opening the front of the body breathing out laying the spine down really focusing on the smoothness and steadiness really focusing or keeping as your anchor your center is the breath Coming in and out through the nostrils, breathing out, rolling down. Yeah. Do a couple more of these. With or without the arms, you can choose which you prefer. Some people find that moving the arms really helps them to open up, and also you're going to get more, maybe slightly more openness in the shoulders there. One more. And rolling down. And then we counter pose again by hugging the knees, have a little rock and roll. Then we're just going to roll onto the side there and come up to all fours. So these nice opposite movements, making sure the space between the knees here, that underneath the hips, square, so like a tabletop, making sure the hands are underneath the shoulders. 
so we're nice and square. So we start off by lifting the right hand and the left leg, nice straight line or extended from fingertips to toe and exhale, bringing the hand down, bringing the knee down. Inhale, then change the other side and exhale, change. Looking down, changing your point of view. Inhale and exhale. Also just check, because it's, it's tempting when you only have you know, the weight on one arm is to use the lock of the elbow. But see if you can keep that line, arm, what I would call lively. So there's a slight soft bend in the elbow. It just encourages the, the shoulder to work a little bit more and to keep that openness in the shoulder. So inhaling, looking forwards beyond the fingertips, extend, exhale, coming down, softening. Your breath is really the energetic force behind this, inhaling and exhaling. Really feel that the breath is filling that lovely long diagonal line across the body from fingertip to toe. And exhale, really point that toe, make it a lovely long leg. Inhale, exhale, breathe out fully. Do one more each side, inhale, exhale. Maybe you're a bit faster or slower than me, that's okay. Finishing on the, the left hand coming down, then sit back into the heels, extend the arms away, bring the forehead to the ground. Then to the pose of the swan, feel your wings being thrust forwards, beautiful swan wings. And bring your forehead to the ground, reconnecting with the earth, your body, the ground. And expanding the back, the whole of the back of the body, breathing in through the nostrils, and sigh out to the mouth. <sighs> Let it go. Feel that release. Oh, let the hips sink into the heels deeply. Let all the air leave the body on that side. Empty out on the oh, out breath through the mouth. Oh, yeah. We'll do these simple little back movements now. Breathing in, come up to all fours. Breathing out, coming forwards with the hips. Lifting the chest, taking the shoulders away from each other. Inhale, lift up, exhale, sit back. So moving with your breath again, inhale, exhale. Feeling the body opening up. Also noticing the resistances that are there and giving those resistances breath. We're not pushing through them. We're just giving them some breath, some space and just enjoying the gradual opening. It's a real good time at the moment is to slow down. Doesn't mean to say you can't do things fast, I think. It's just that um, tendency for us to hurry, to rush, to rush around. So slowing down, really feeling our experience. So I encourage you to slow this down. The best way to slow this down is to really extend that out breath when you're sitting back into the heels, empty, so there's nothing left. You're like a shriveled balloon, nothing left, no air left in. And then the inhale fills you up, lifts you up, and the exhale, open the front of the body from the chin to the toes. Inhale, exhale. Let's do one more, really making it expansive and heart opening, you know, heart is flying upwards as you open the chest there. Inhale, and just have a little rest. Actually, before you sit back, we'll just do a little shoulder open on the uh, start of this. So just before you sit back, you're on all fours. We take the back of the right hand on the ground, breathe in. As you exhale, just slide that hand away, come onto the side of the head and just rest that left elbow. So we're expanding the upper back there between the shoulder blades. If you feel like it needs a, we need a bit more, um, or you're finding it difficult to get to the ground, just put a, a nice soft cushion underneath your head there. And you can eat, or you can even place your head on your back of your hand. Oh, well, just allow the upper back to open. Obviously, the upper back also the back of the heart. So we really want to open this up. So send your breath to the space between the shoulder blades. Feel that space as you inhale, opening up that whole chest area. And also uh, equally important is that out breath. Make that nice and long and deep. So I'm going to invite the next in breath to be a lot bigger. So, 
So coming up again to all fours on the inhale, pressing into that left hand. Now put the back of the left hand on the ground, breathe in, slide that hand away. Rest on the side of the head or cushion or the back of the right hand can rest underneath the head. Otherwise really relax the right elbow and breathe. Open the space between the shoulder blades, the back of the heart. Breathe into that space. Yeah, fill the whole chest with air. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Expand. So we create space for movement, for the energies to move. And when the energies can move, it's easier for them to find balance. Using the inhale to push into the right hand, come back to all fours. Just sit back deeply into the heels, extend the arms away, bring them forward to the ground. In fact, actually, let's just sweep the arms back into the pose of the child. Back to the arms on the ground, relax the elbows, relax the shoulders, breathe. Again, deeply into the nostrils, out to the mouth. <sighs> Let it go. Relax the jaw and the mouth. If it helps, um, or if you're finding you've still got tension in your mouth, a good way on the out breath is to make this kind of the voice sound breathing in. And again. Good. So we come up to kneeling for a moment, moving up gradually. We're going to come into a Present moon or this new moon coming tomorrow. Pisces moon. Right. Into emotion. So we take the hands forwards. Let's just bring the weight onto the right hand, take the left foot forwards. So we're on the left foot and the right knee. Adjust the positioning if you want to go wider for more balance. The foot should be flat behind, but if you prefer and you need a bit of extra kind of balance, you can tuck the toe under. So on the inhale, nice big inhale through the nostrils, lift the arms up, bring the hands together. On the exhale, take the hands back, so we're really getting this open, expansive chest, and take the hips forwards. But this pulling back will help, will stop us, prevent us from kind of taking all the weight forwards. So we're trying to keep in the center. Good, and a lovely opening on the front of the right hip. Very good thing. Typically, as I was saying before, we've been sitting a lot, we all sit quite a lot, then we really need to work on opening the front of the body. Come back on the inhale, lift the arms up, exhale, bring the arms down, bring the hands to the ground either side of this left foot, and we lengthen the left leg. So we imagine we're pushing into the ground, we're trying to make a dent in the mat with the big toe. In fact, all the toes could help, but mainly the big toe, so the left foot, and then extend the leg away from that, really extend, feel the left buttock is lifting up, back and up to the ceiling behind you, and let the body rest down. So rather than pushing into this, just find that point. Oh, okay, that's where the body's saying, stop please, or pause just there, and then breathe. It's always the same, you know, we find the resistance, we acknowledge it, we respect it, and then we work with it. And this is the same in the body as it is in our, you know, mental resistances, emotional resistances. They're there for a reason to protect us, but we can work with them so we can expand. Good, and then come back to the kneeling position and send that left foot back. Nice. And then we bring the right foot forward and adjust the position to make it to suit you. Inhaling, lift the arms up, bring the hands above the head. So the hands are going back, so we're lifting that chest up lengthening and opening the whole front of the body and as you exhale we're taking the hips forwards and this lovely crescent moon you can see this lovely arch or this arc so we're really honoring this new moon coming it's a time to reconnect with in, uh, intentions and desires we bring the hands to the ground and then we're just going to Lengthen this right leg, so pushing the big toe of the right foot into the ground and extending the right hip, the right buttock away from it, relaxing the body down, meeting our resistance. 
giving it some breath, creating more space for ourselves, creating more flow, allowing the energies to move and find their own balance. Everything is in flux all the time. You know, our energies. Well, I'm just going to, actually, we're just going to come and take that foot back, sit back in the heels briefly. Everything is moving, changing all the time. So we extend the arms forward. We're going to come into time, downward dog. Breathing in, come up, downward dog. Uh, down to all fours, sorry, breathing out. Breathing in, tuck the toes under. Make sure the feet are about hips width apart, not too wide and definitely not together. And lifting the knees up on the out breath. So we now place the feet. If your heels are off the ground, you can always just get the backs of the legs a bit more lively, bending, pedaling if you like. So bend the right knee, push the left heel down, bend the left knee, put the right heel down. Pushing through the hands, thinking about that lovely long line from the fingertips to the base of the spine. Keep the tummy tucked in. Breathe into the chest again, creating space in the chest area. In the front and the back of the heart. Let the heels just rest there. Good. And then just walk the feet towards the hands. Bend the knees at the body hand. Inhale through the nostrils. Exhale through the mouth. And again, breathe in through the nostrils. Exhale through the mouth. Feel the lift coming from the base of the spine. Leave the head heavy. Leave the arms heavy, keep the knees bent. Breathing in and out the whole time as you unfurl, one curl, two standing. So it's almost like you come standing without any effort. It's a nice feeling. Standing with your feet around hips width apart, just lift the toes up and lively up the feet, place the toes down. Lift the heels high off the ground and place them down. Good. Lift the shoulders now, breathe in. Hold for a second, then out through the mouth. <sighs> yeah, let it go. It's like imagine that burden is dropping off your shoulders. Inhale. Out through the mouth. <sighs> Good. And again, one more time, breathing in. Squeeze the shoulders up high. Hold the breath in a second and then release it out through the mouth. <sighs> Releasing the tension. Roll the shoulders back, maybe three times. Just the shoulders there. And then forward the shoulders. Yeah, feels very necessary. Shoulders waking up, waking up to spring. Okay, let's just do these. I'm going to do a bit more shoulders. I'm feeling like the need for that. So we take the left foot forward and the right foot's behind. If there's a bit of space, not a giant step. Knees are nice and soft, even bent actually. Take the left hand for the left hip. We're going to do these arm circles. So holding the fingers lightly here. Just let the arms swing in space. Check first of all that you can get your arm right around in extended position without hitting anything. We don't want to hurt ourselves here. That would be very counterproductive. So we let the arms swing and actually just taking the weight forward and backwards without lifting the feet off the ground. We're just letting the weight kind of move slightly from the front to the back just to help that momentum. And then we're going to go backwards and let the arm just swing. We're still kind of taking the weight slightly forwards, backwards. So it's really coming from the body, this movement, not from the arm. The arm's just loose and floppy. And then we let it swing again a few times. And then we go forwards with that arm. So just taking that forwards, loosening up, energizing the arms, the shoulders, and coming into the chest also. And let it swing a little bit and come to a stop. Let's try the other side. Notice how it feels. The difference between the arms and the shoulders, see how it feels. Right foot forward, left foot back, right hand on the right hip. Take hold of the fingers lightly and just swing this arm back and forth, slightly taking the weight forwards and back into the front foot and the back foot. So really give it some way here. We're going to go backwards first of all. So getting the arm going in a big circle. Yeah, the body's doing the work here. The body's providing the momentum, not the arm. The arm is just being moved. Good. And then we swing again. And then we move forwards. This is a great one to do in the morning if you're feeling a little bit stiff and a little bit tired. This will soon wake you up. And just, you know, it's a good reminder of if we're not feeling very energetic, if you're feeling very kind of blocked, it's about removing the obstacles, about releasing the tension. You'll soon find that flow of energy return. 
And with that, let's just move and breathe a little bit, just to kind of, that's quite a strong one. So we're gonna just meet that with something softer. So as you inhale, lifting the arms up, lift the heels off the ground, bring the hands together. As you inhale through the nostrils, exhale through the nostrils, slowly release as the hands come down and the heels come down. And then we inhale, we open the hands up, they're lifting up to the skies, lifting the heels high, pressing off the toes, bring the hands together, exhaling, slowly bring the heels down, slowly bring the arms down. This is such a beautiful, simple practice, all its own, it does so much for so many aspects that you can kind of key into. I mean, there's obviously the physical, there's a balance, there's breath, there's breath connecting with body, body connecting with breath shoulder opening, mind focus with the balance, and also just kind of acknowledging the polarities of being in this life, this human being. And we just feel all of that in this movement. Let's do one more, arming up, and exhaling the arms coming down, heels are coming down. Your hands to the heart center for a moment. Good. And then still thinking about this chest area, thinking about this a lot today. So imprint the fingers in front of the body. Inhale. Soften the knees, actually, have them slightly bent. And as you exhale, take the hands forward and really feel like you're pulling the back backwards. So just opening up the chest. Drop the head down so the back of the neck is exposed. Breathe. Lots of breath there. One more breath in, then release, release the hands, see how that feels. Into the fingers behind the back. And we're just going to take the chest forward again, knees slightly bent, taking the chest forwards and upwards and taking the hands away from the back. Leaving the, rather than lifting the chin, keep it looking directly forward, so it's face looking forward, so the chin slightly tucked in. So you want to focus on this opening of the front of the body. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, taking the hands away, breathing in one more time and release. And let's just release all of this now, having a little twist. So feet are a bit wider, knees bent, letting the body just turn. So we're turning on our axis and letting the arms just swing around. Just let go of the day. Let go. Yeah. Letting go of all the little tensions, the tiny tensions little things in our minds, coming back to our centre, feeling this centre, strong centre, and that's slowly coming to a stop. And again, we'll just sweep out the cobwebs. So feet hips width apart, parallel. Inhale, lift the arms up. Inhale through the nostrils strongly and then out through the mouth strongly. <sighs> Get all the air out on that ha. Knees bend, arms just swing down heavily. Inhale. <sighs> Ha breath. Really let it out, make it a strong ha. Ha. Good. Let's do one more of those. Inhale. Just sweeping out everything. Ha. Good. Hands in front and behind. I like this movement. Nice for opening the shoulders. And then we just take that left knee up and meet it with the right hand. And then we do the opposite. So nice and upright in the body. Okay. Cross crawl. Do a couple of these today. Again, it's slightly limbering as well, the body getting a bit more active. And then we're going to just take that leg out to the side and the opposite arm is going over the head. This one's just going to kind of copy the upper arm, make this kind of little circle around the head. Inhaling and exhaling, try and keep that body upright, really lifting the chest. I've lost it now. <laughs> it happens, thinking too much. Good. Ready to take the leg right up the side, opening up the hip, warming up the hip as well on the leg. Good. Take a moment just to stand. Take the hands to the heart. So we're really staying heart focused today. Standing Anjali Tadasana. So we're in the mountain pose with the prayer position, Anjali Mudra. Close the eyes for a second. Just check in with yourself. How's my heart today? Breathe into that space. Hopefully there's a bit more space for you. Standing tall, lifting the chest, dropping the shoulders down. Pointing the tailbone down. Feel the front of the thighs engaging. Knees are kind of, kneecaps are kind of lifting. 
lifting up. Feet are soft and open to the ground. Lift the toes, place them down. Feel that connection to the earth. Feel the connection to your heart. Feel the crown of your head. Pop your head open. Receive. Yes. Relax for a moment. Good. Let's start with some um, flat standing postures now. We're going to stand at the front of the mat. And we're going to come into Warrior Two. Very Bhadrasana too. We're going to move with this one as well. Weight on the left foot, take a big step back with the right. Maybe shuffle it a bit further back if you want a wider stance. You can see it's quite a wide um, stance here. The right foot, the back foot is pointing slightly forward. Square the hips to make sure they haven't come out of line. And make sure they're facing the long edge of the mat. Inhale, lift the arms up, lift the chest. Exhale, bring the arms down, but keep that lift in the chest. This space we want to increase here. Exhaling, bending into that left knee. At the same time, left knee goes forward, right foot pushes back. So it's like an elastic band. Try and feel that energy. Inhale, come up. Looking down the left arm, exhale, sinking down. Every single time. So it's good, you know, this um, moving in and out because it reminds us to get that uh, dynamic in there. We're not just kind of going forwards and backwards. That's not very interesting. It's just kind of like, there's not a center. There's not kind of a, a gravity, a balance there. So we're feeling that balance is the important thing. Inhaling, coming up, keep the shoulders drop down, keep the back of the neck long. Keep that open gaze, looking down beyond the left fingertips. Keep that right arm engaged. So have a little check. It hasn't just kind of gone to sleep and given up because you're not looking at it. Exhaling, taking your time with this. Inhale, exhale. You can feel this in the thighs. Making sure you're not letting that knee collapse inwards. By that I mean coming in here. You want to really imagine that's being pressed outwards. And we'll just sink into the posture for a moment here. Take a breath, in and out. And come up on the inhale. Lower the arms on the exhale. We're bending with the right knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Give the legs a little shake. If you're keeping the feet on the ground, just the knees are kind of shaking there. And the hips maybe. Let's shake a bit of uh, yeah, just shake a bit of whatever is going on. Give it a bit of shake up. Shoulders as well. Breathe into the nostrils. Ah good. Weight on the right foot. Take a very big step back with the left. Nice big step. Those hips level, Pop, point the tailbone down, strong in the belly. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down. Inhale, next breath. Exhale, bending into that right knee. Don't forget to get that dynamic between the left heel, actually, even more precisely, and the right knee. Get that elastic band, you almost feel it's an elastic band between them. There's an extension between the fingertips and a dropping down of the shoulders and a lift of the chest. Looking down the right arm here, inhaling. Maybe each time you can go a little deeper or at least staying upright, not leaning forwards. We're constantly keeping ourselves anchored in that back foot. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's just do one more, inhale, exhale. So keeping that weight even between the feet, lifting the chest, expanding between the fingertips, looking down that right arm, dropping the shoulders. Really feel that strength and balance of the warrior. Come up on the inhale then. Exhale, lower the arms down. Bend into the left knee. Bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Let's just give everything a little shake. Give the shake, legs a shake. Give the arms a little shake. Let's come into a squat. So feet have a nice distance apart, feet are kind of pointing outwards at the angle that feels comfortable for you. So it depends how open you are in the hips. And it might be that you need to be wider in the feet or they could be quite close together, but we want to try and get the body in between those knees. If the heels are off the ground, place the knee underneath them. Let's just let rest the backs of the hands on the ground. So the palms are going up and then just drop the head. See if you can just give the weight to the head. So you just let it go. So 
So we're freeing up the hips here and we're really creating some space in the back of the neck and the back of the shoulders, breathing in through the nostrils. Oh, let it go. Be with your breath. Make it very audible to yourself so you can feel it. You know, when you hear yourself sighing, it really does help to uh, trigger the parasympathetic nervous system. So it's really good to make some sound. Oh, yeah, nice sigh. Put the hands to the center. A little twist here, so left hand on the ground. Feel the inhale is lifting those fingertips of the right hand up to the ceiling. Just finding that lovely lift all the time, lifting the fingers. And we're watching it and we're twisting, we're turning our chest to direct it towards that right hand. And then we rotate that right wrist clockwise. Try to make that circle as big as you can. It's almost like the pointing finger, the first finger, index finger, is drawing a giant circle. And then we rotate it the other way, still drawing a giant circle anti-clockwise. And we keep moving that hand as it moves through space, just finding those spirals and circles in the body. Right hand on the ground, steady yourself. The inhale lifts the left fingertips up to the ceiling. And we rotate that wrist, big circle clockwise again. And watching the hand, breathing, and then we take it the other way. Unwinding, breathing, moving, sort of graceful movement through the space. Good. And the hands come on the ground again. Push into the hands and come up into a ragged doll. So the knees are bent, the body's hanging. Breathe in through the nostrils. <sighs> Sigh out through the mouth. And then again, breathe in through the nostrils. <sighs> Let your body hang, let your shoulders hang out through the mouth. So again, feel that lift coming from the base of the spine. It's traveling up. Keep your attention on that spine. Really see if you can identify and feel as each little vertebrae wakes up, lifts up, creates spaciousness in the whole spinal column. So when you're standing, you just lift and roll the shoulders back. Yeah, just enjoy that openness in the body. Okay, balance. Got a couple of balances. So we're going to start with the tree, one of the best ones, um, because we have that beautiful the actual trees to emulate. So we bring the weight onto the left foot, soften the standing leg to begin, and place the take that right knee out to the side. So that action there, and the foot is on the on the inside of the ankle or on the calf. We avoid the knee, or you could have that pressing into the thigh. Don't forget, you need to press the thigh back with equal emphasis. So pressing towards the centre line. And then taking the knee out to the side, lifting the chest, inhaling, lifting the chest even more, bring the hands together, and then bring them in front of the heart. Good. Pressing the hands together evenly, lifting the chest, dropping the shoulders down. Really feel that balance, feel that energy. You can feel the little shifts as you move. You can feel your, your foot working, the toes working, but not gripping. And you can feel in the crown of your head, like the crown of a tree, like really opening up to the universe. And feel the roots going down from the sole of the foot open to the earth. So we have this beautiful idea here. Breathing in, lifting the arms up, breathing out, bring the arms down. Try and keep your leg where it is and try and catch that right knee. Give it a little squeeze and release. Let it float down through space and give the legs a, a shake. Yeah, just even out so we can re reset. Bring the weight onto the right foot, bending that right knee, taking the left knee out to the side, the foot on the ankle or the calf or the thigh, pressing back with that thigh. So whatever you do on the other side, do the same on this side, best to keep that even. Knee out to the side, so opening the hips here. Inhale, lift the arms up, palms come together. Exhaling, bring the hands in front of the heart. Lifting the chest towards 
And imagine it's lifting up, oh, slidey foot, a little tip for the slidey foot, <laughs> pop, <laughs> breath on the hand, give it a little bit of a wipe on the foot, there you are, it's like a little bit of glue. Good. Pressing the hands together, lifting the chest, dropping the shoulders down, neck is long, crown, imagine a beautiful crown of the tree coming into flower, coming into blossom. Yeah, whatever tree you like, just be with that tree. Feel the roots going down into the rich earth, drawing up energy. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, lower the arms down. And lifting that left knee, giving it a squeeze, and lower the legs down. Good. Give the legs a little shake again. Okay. Just take a moment here. We come into another balance. So let's bring the hands together. Take a moment standing in Anjali Tadasana again. Just like a little miniature prayer, if you like. So if there's something you want to just tap into. Make sure just check your feet, hip width apart, parallel with the feet. Also checking your posture, pointing the tailbone down, keeping that belly strong and lifting the chest up and away. Drop the shoulders down, palms pressed together, back of the neck long, chin is slightly tucked in. Just close your eyes briefly. Really come back into this heart space. Breathe into that. See how your heart is. And just see if you can find positive energy, loving awareness there that you are. And see if we can just shine a little bit of that out into the world. Asana, the mountain, standing firm, alive, solid, and the legs. Look in the eyes. Another balance, heron balance. Okay, so I start with my fingertips together. I bring the weight onto the left foot. So this right foot is just ready to lift up. Inhaling, lifting the knee up high, lifting the hands. Bring the hands together, exhaling, bringing the hands and the leg down at the same time. Try and match that movement. So just as that heel comes down, the fingertips touch, we shift the weight to the right, inhale. And we're lifting that knee really high, lifting the hands up to as high as they can go as well. And exhaling, keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils, coming down, the heel just comes down as we touch the fingers, shift the weight, inhale. Whatever speed you do this at, try and keep in tune with your breath and try and keep the movement smooth and even. It's a beautiful balance because it's so focusing for the mind. Thinking about, um, you know, our, our card, our oracle card, stay focused. Well, this is a great way to practice that shift of weight. So, you know, so really think again about the dynamic, the right knee's going up, you're pushing into the ground with the other foot. So that helps the balance as well. In no end it will help the balance. Try it out and you see there's a real difference when you bring that dynamic in. So pressing into the ground with the foot that's on the ground, lifting the knee of the other leg in the opposite direction. So it's just dynamic. It's like that elastic band I was talking about earlier. Feeling that sense of an elastic band, holding your intention. Breathing in, lifting, exhaling. Yeah, extra focus on the balance today. Good, inhale. And exhale. And again, just to check in with our Anjali Tadasana. Really feel your posture. A few posture tips, just checking your feet. Let's lift the toes, place them down again. Lift the heels, place them down. Tailbone, point it down, strong belly. Lift the chest, drop the shoulders down long back of the neck so everything is kind of you know working together hands together that's the anjali the, the prayer position feel the crown lifting and feel the feet sinking so we're extending in two directions close your eyes briefly good we just have a moment of loving awareness in your body in your mind in your emotional and energetic 
existence of layers. Make sure you can still the energy of your own thoughts. Maybe it has an image or a colour that goes with that. Just allow yourself to experience that. Make it enjoyable for yourself. Okay, so half sun salute before we come to the ground. We'll be moving and breathing. Breathing in, lift the arms up, look up, exhale, take the chest forwards, knees bend, fingertips touch the ground. Inhale, look forwards, straight legs, arms back, exhale, forward bend with the straight legs. Then we bend the knees, then we push up from the ground with the feet, inhale, reach up, exhale, arms come down. That's a simple little cycle, breathing in, breathing out. Try and stay with your breath, make your breath the centre of this, bend the knees, touch the ground. Inhale, bring the hands to the knees, open the chest, shoulders come back away from each other, look up to the ceiling, exhale, forward bend with straight legs. Bend the knees, push up from the ground, lift up the arms, inhale strongly, exhale. We'll do a few more of these. So inhale. Yeah, moving and breathing, helping the energies to move. Inhale, look to the ceiling, open the chest, exhale, forward bend. Bend the knees, inhale. Swoop up, exhale, soften. That was a strong inhale. Inspiration, bend the knees, coming to the earth. Bend the knees, touch the earth, inhale, heart flies upwards, exhale, forward bend, soften into that forward bend, bend the knees, inhale, swoop up, exhale, keeping that breath in and out through the nostrils, make it a slow, steady breath, exhale, bend the knees, fingertips touch the ground, inhale, straighten the legs, arms back, exhale, forward bend, bend the knees, lift up, Swoop up, look up, exhale. It's all about that up and then we settle again. Inhale, let's make this the last one. Exhale, bend the knees, fingertips touch the ground. Inhale, look up, open the chest, hands on the knees, exhale, forward bend. Just stay in this forward bend for just a couple of breaths, just so we can really feel the opening up of the back and the hamstrings. So looking towards the big toes, Feeling that lift in the tail, chest is coming down to the big toes, and feel your breath coming in and out through the nostrils. Hands in contact with the ground, however which way you can do that, whether you have your hands on the ground, fingertips, or something on the ground that you can make contact with. Long, slow out breath is the key. So we're gonna come out of this. So what we're gonna do is come up to a halfway point, bring the hands to the waist and look forwards and upwards, lift the elbows, so we're in a straight back here. You can hold your back if you need to. Use the inhale, lifting up, and just give the back a little rub and breathe out. Good. So we're going to just lower down to the ground in a little squat. Just use, use the legs a little bit more. Inhale, lift the arms up, keep the shoulders back. Exhaling, taking the bottom back, reaching forward with the hands. Breathing in and out the whole time. Slow it down. Slow down. Breathe. Slow down and catch yourself. Put the legs forwards. Bounce the knees up and down a little bit. So, seated forward bend here. Then that one's just shuffle to get that, take this um, back. So help yourself out by pulling the fleshy part back there. Legs are together, toes towards the ceiling, lifting the chest, breathe in, lift the arms up, look at the back of the hands and take the body forwards, leading with the heart centre, always leading with the heart, and take hold of the legs or the ground, take hold of the toes if you want to, or the feet, if you're not hunching to do that, we don't want to hunch, we don't want to round the back, we want to keep it really long. So it's always lifting and leading with the chest. Shoulders are falling behind the chest. We're not leading with the shoulders. Breathing in. Let's just stay here for a few breaths just to give some space to the back and also these hamstrings. Really important to keep that balance between the front and the back of the leg. If you're tight in the hamstrings, it may well cause a little bit of back problem or a bit of pain 
or discomfort in the back. So it's worth spending a bit of time with a forward bend. It's a great posture. A lot to be learned from this posture. The ultimate learning is surrender, surrendering, so to just let the body surrender into this. Yeah. And then we just lift the hands up, inhaling, exhaling, lower the arms down, bring the hands behind you, and we come up to either a hip lift, or we're attempting to flatten the feet to the ground, the legs together, or we put the feet on the ground, lifting up into a tabletop, hold, whichever one you choose, try and hold back with your breaths, or with the bottom on the ground, lifting the chest, looking up at the ceiling. So we're really taking the shoulders back, expanding the heart again, but counterposing. Yeah. Try this hip lift. Breathe one more time in and exhaling lower down. We'll just come out of that position. And we're going to lay the body down now. So extend the fingers towards the toes. Breathe in and out. Slowly, slowly, slowly does it. Keeping your focus, keeping your breath moving. Keeping that strength in the abdominals, supporting the back. And rolling down right at the last second and then let go. Once your body's on the ground, just let it all go. Inhale deeply. <sighs> Sigh out for the mouth. Good. And again, we just bring the knees up. Hug the knees. We'll have a little rock and a roll here. Breathe deeply. So we're going to come into a twist here, maybe a couple of twists. So keeping the knees up on the chest, take the arms out to the side, palms flat down. Breathe in through the nostrils. As you exhale, take the knees over to the left and take the head over to the right. <laughs> and just let the legs relax. So don't have let them be, you know, floating in space. Let them relax down. And even if they have to straighten out a little bit, that's okay. But the knees go one way, the head goes the other way. And breathe, maybe close your eyes even, just enjoy this. Releasing twist, lying twist. So good for releasing. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Good. Good. And then we use the inhale to lift our head to center, lift the knees to center. And exhaling, letting the knees fall to the right, the head goes over to the left, so it's the opposite direction. Let the legs relax. Really give your body its breath. Feel the impact of gravity on the body, feel the ground. And just releasing the body into the ground. Enjoying that twist, just deepening your breath. Good. Use the inhale to come back up, lift the head up, lift the knees up, hug the knees again. Have a nice little rock and roll there. Place the soles of the feet on the ground. Place the hands on the belly there. So the feet are on the ground, it's a seppy, 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 semi supine position. So the feet are a little bit away from the buttocks. Let the hands rest on the belly. Back of the neck is nice and long, that means the chin is slightly tucked in. We're just going to do this simple little breathing and moving. Last bit of chest, chest releasing, heart opening, breathing in, the arms come up on the ground. It's a soft movement, we're not extending the arms, then exhaling, the arms coming forward. We're just trying to slow everything down. Let the hands rest on the body, feel the weight before the inhale begins. So it's a soft movement, the arms are soft and slightly bent in the elbow. Close the eyes and we'll just move these arms through space softly. It's a soft breath, it's a soft movement. Soft with ourselves, it's like very soft. The fingers are soft, they're not rigid, they're really kind of like softening. Imagine they're just like feathers, arms like feathers, soft like clouds, like soft fur of an animal, just the arms just moving with that breath, that soft breath. And exhaling, it's coming forward through space. Do a couple more. 
try and slow this movement down as much as possible. So there's a little, little bit of opening happening in the chest, but nothing you know, too crazy. It's just gentle. Slow and gentle is the way to go. One more. And we feel this connection with ourselves by this kind of hands on our belly, hands on our body. Let's move through space this last time, let the hands rest on the body, wherever you choose. Do you want to place your hands? And you can even place the hands underneath the back. You know, if you want to, you feel like that's where you need to put them. You can just put the hands on the ground and just rest there. You can see, feel you need a little bit of something. Wherever you feel, in your head, eyes. Knees fall together, just create lots of release there. And just wherever your hands are, breathe into that space behind the hands, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and out through the nostrils. So you're giving yourself some healing, some light, feeling your energy. And just trusting the process. Now you might not even know what you're giving yourself, but you're really giving yourself some attention, if nothing else, and your focus, staying focused. And create some space for yourself to be. And you can either stay here as you are, or you can come into Shavasana slightly and legs away letting the arms fall away to the sides. Feel free if you want to just cover yourself for a moment. Just a couple of moments on the ground. Eyes closed if they're not closed already. Take your focus inwards. Breathe. Allow your breath to soften. Gradually softening more and more. Feel your body softening gradually. As it softens, you feel it sinking and melting into the ground. Every time you find your mind has wandered off onto some thought, some idea, some plan, some memory, where the thoughts and the attention goes, just bring it back to this present moment. Maybe even saying to yourself, I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness. Hmm. Saying that out loud actually feels really centering and perfect reminder. So relaxing and Focusing on the heart, lightly though softly. I am loving awareness. Feel the support of that loving awareness at your back. Feel the softness and openness of that loving awareness. Your front, your heart. Just feeling your inner light and your sense of connection to yourself. So we come to the end of the relaxation, come to the end of our class today. So taking your time to slowly come back to the day. Gradually bring yourself back up. Gradually finding your breath. Just finding an easy way to come back to seated. Open your eyes, look around. Take in your surroundings, the space, the things you have around you, the comforts and personal items. Just 
really feeling yourself held in your own space. And then rub the palms together. Yeah. And we bring this warmth and energy that we focus between the hands and we place it again, coming back to this heart, close the eyes. Really feel that sense of the heart center, the spiritual heart. This limitless loving awareness and into this space. You bring your sankalpa, your intention. Something for yourself, something you want to manifest in yourself. And if you don't have anything, then I am loved. I am loving. I am lovable. That's a really great sankalpa. And say it to yourself a few times, really feel that sinking deep into your heart, giving it energy, warmth, attention. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice today.